Welcome to the Corpse Paint Show. It is August 9th, and today we have Little Spark Films. Stay tuned. Welcome back from Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. It's a wonderful trip. Later in the show, we're going to talk all about your new acquisitions mm -hmm. on Lurid Wares. Sounds good to me. Yes. And also, we have a cool photo montage mm -hmm. that I took in my backyard. Ooh. You got to see it. Oh, yes. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Hello, Little Spark Films. Hello. There we go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. And How are you all this evening? We're doing all right, pretty well. It's a, uh, it's a great day. It absolutely is. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Corpse Paint us. Day. It's cor yes. We should change the name. It's no longer Sunday. Right. <laughs> right. It is Corpse Paint Day today. Corpse Day. <laughs> Corpse Day. So, Joe, who do you got? Who do you got with us today? You you arranged all our guests. So, um, would you introduce us, please, to? All these people that are uh, doing the um, Brady Bunch positioning below you, <laughs> next well, to you. We, we have uh, some of our teammates cool. that uh, from Little Spark Films. We have Corey Ari, Nerd Scum. <laughs> Hi, guys. He Hi, Corey. Is, he is my uh, assistant director on set, and uh, he does a lot of writing with us. And then we have Ty Adams, who is a cam uh, one of our camera operators. Uh, Hello. And uh, Gaffer, producer, and uh, he will be directing a movie called Wages of Sin that we are producing. And he's wrapping up on another movie called um, The Man Who Left Nothing. Yes. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Hey, uh, for clarification, Lily, look, mm -hmm. let's say you want to you want to find Ty Adams. Mm -hmm. I think it's spelled like Adams Family. Ah. Yep. Two D's. Gotcha. Double D's. Double Speaking D's. of double D's, do we have Lily Cam? Do we have like the hover cam? <laughs> okay, all right, no, no, no. Uh, okay, and then, and then, and then, Cor all right, and then Corey, uh, you find him on Instagram under Nerd Scum. Nerd Scum, okay. Yeah, perfect. So we, <laughs> Nerd Scum, eventually, Nerd Scum would be a guest on this show. It just fits. Mm -hmm. Right. Corey also played uh, Watson. For us on uh, two of our Hellbound Laments videos, yeah, uh, for Sherlock Holmes and the Servants of Hell, and then I did a voice on another one. I think uh, uh, he did the voice. You did the voice of uh, Button Face for the for the original Midian configuration, which turned out to be the second Midian configuration. Okay, so so what what are the Midian configuration? How about laments? Uh, uh, it was it a series or was it a a, a film film uh, contest or or please please fill me in. Uh, we made a series of micro shorts and entitled all of them the Hellbound Laments, and they are uh, based off of um, obviously the Hellraiser mythology, which is actually incredibly vast. There are two um, box makers, uh, very popular box makers. Uh, one is called the Pyramid Gallery, and then the other person is called configurationboxes.com, and they make very high quality um, boxes. Ooh, that is gorgeous. There it is. I realized the other day that this is a butthole. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Like there you go. Wait, hold on. Now there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen that recently on a video. I think, oh yeah, I did. 
have... um, sorry, this is actually, um, this is a type of box and this is like a French inspired box that's really, really pretty. And then all the boxes have different uh, stories and so forth. So the Hellbound Laments is trying to tell a little mini story for each of the um, eight boxes that we have. Nice, so cool, all right. Um, and uh, okay, so later we're gonna talk about Wages of Sin. That, that We'll get to that too. But uh, Joe, do you wanna start with one of the video or video teasers we have for Hellbound Laments? Yeah, show uh, uh, the trailer. We the, the trailer gives you a little bit of all the videos. On December 1st of 2019, we spent uh, one day shooting eight videos and we shot on a red weapon in 6k uh with our director of photography Jorg uh, victor science laos and um we we shot from uh i want to say 10 in the morning till three in the morning and we got eight commercials done they are commercials promoting these companies and the craft that they uh that they uh push forward with but uh they're also Proofs of concepts or micro short films or fan films, mm -hmm. uh, but they're primarily meant for uh, promoting these companies. And this trailer gives you a bit of the best stuff, in my opinion. Cool. Uh, so, um, what is this the real or is this the other the other video we have? No, not, the real. not the real. Okay. We want to show your real also, Joe. Sweet. Yeah, we're cutting to video. Jason is our engineer, and so yeah, we're cutting to that video. Uh, here we go. There are many entrances to hell. Throughout the centuries, Apostles of Leviathan devised ways to travel between our world and theirs. Over for that, Kristen uh, Keith from Far Out Fiesta. Yeah, gotcha. And Far Out Fiesta is on on air media on um, Fridays. Yeah, she's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's, oh great. she's great. She um, did the voiceover for the trailer for uh, the, her Midian configuration video called The New Breed, and then uh, she also did the voiceover for um, the the second or no the third innocence puzzle video the ancient french box of eternity and she did the whole thing with a french accent so she's she's pretty Very gnarly nice. yeah she's a great actress everyone loves that baby pinhead <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> that was a gift from uh diana prince darcy the male girl from joe bob briggs the last drive-in. Gotcha. That is adorable. He did his famous. He was on. He was on the uh, season finale. Of Ooh. <laughs> Which we uh, did all the Hellraiser effects for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. fantastic, man. Yeah. And then they have a they have a summer special. Joe Bob Briggs has a summer special next week, so that's going to be really fun. Um, and it's live on Shutter at like eight uh, at eight p.m. our time Central. Yeah. Eight p.m. Central. Next Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. Yeah. This coming Friday. Friday. Yes, this upcoming okay. Friday. Well, yeah. wait a second. Are you talking about the 14th? Yes, the 14th. Guess oh. what? Oh, we have a premiere as well, don't we, Sam? Tell them. Tell them. Yes. Yeah. So, Amir, yeah, Amir, 
put us in a movie that's uh, that's uh, video streaming that night too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what we, is it? We will we will make posts about yours and ours together. Yes, ours okay. is called oh. Anthropocene. I'm glad you said that. Mm -hmm. I'm glad um, I said it correctly. Um, yeah, right, I think I said it correctly. I think so. So, yeah, so we, um, so he filmed, we filmed this segment here in the studio that's mm -hmm. going to be in a movie called Anthropocene that'll open on the 14th, also. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. That sounds so much fun. Yeah, super excited. <laughs> um, all right, so are Corey and Ty, do, do they work with you on all, everything you do, Joe? Uh, I try to get them to work with me on everything <laughs> I do, if possible. <laughs> uh, we just got a music video this, uh, past uh, Monday with uh, for a band called uh, Acadian and uh, Corey was there to help as uh, as my assistant director and then uh, Ty was the AP on that he was the associate producer he was you know he helped us get the gig and uh, yeah so as far as us keeping you know, moving forward um, you know I, I try my best to make sure the whole team is always involved Is there an easy place to find all of the Hellbound Laments that you've made? Yeah, actually, there is a YouTube playlist. If you go to youtube.com uh, slash littlesparkfilms, you can find a Hellbound Laments playlist. It will have all 13 videos released uh, in order along with uh, the trailer, a behind-the-scenes video from uh, Corey Nerdscum, and uh, an update also about the new film that we're going to be working on soon. Wages of Sin? Yes. Cool. Yeah, um, but all the Hellbound Laments are, are done. All 13 videos have been released, so you can sit down and watch them all from start to finish. And I want to say the runtime on that is over 30 minutes long. Yeah, they're each about, each um, video is about two minutes long. They're all very, very short, um, but they're all very different, too. Well, I, f uh, I found some of them on your website, littlesparkfilms.net. Yes. We have a few posted up there. We're going to update the website. And have its uh, its own page for the little uh, for the Hellbound Laments with uh, all the content, all the scripts, um, all the behind the scenes photography that Will Gwynn took. Um, we're gonna put as much as we can on the dossier. Can I ask Corey this question? What what do you think is the appeal, man, of of Hellraiser? I mean, it's just I, I don't know. It's just so diverse, as Catalina said. Yeah, I mean, I honestly think that's part of what makes it so appealing and why it has such a strong fan base. Um, as you can clearly tell by all the nerd stuff behind me, uh, <laughs> it's kind of my shtick. And I think Hellraiser goes in with a lot of those characters where like the world is very specific, but also open enough that you can reinterpret it in a lot of different ways. And therefore you can have stories that appeal to a massive group of people. Um, and when it comes to the movies in particular, uh, of course, we're at like a weird point with the movies right now, but like they've been around for so long, they have just become icons to the mm. point where like there are people who respond positively to the characters in that world who have maybe only seen one of the movies, but they've always grown up with the iconography of them. It's just part of the larger world of horror. Mm. Um, and again, I think Hellraiser is one of those few franchises where like there's enough elements going on that. Whether you're a casual fan or a diehard fan, there's something for you everywhere in there. Uh, are people? Hey, Ty, are people constantly finding like hidden meanings still? You know, or messages? Oh man, on what? <laughs> on on all of on all of Hellraiser affiliated things. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like it's like watching you know one of those old movies where you watch it again, and you see something new. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, especially the first couple of movies. Um, I mean, obviously, everyone has their own opinion about what's the best one and, like, where the series starts falling off and stuff. But I do think that, like, the first two movies, while they did their horror thing, they also really aspired to a higher goal of, like, creating horror that was true art. Um, and it's it can be argued whether they achieved it or not, but um, I think that really, you know... They attempted that, where a lot of the movies later on were like, nope, we're doing this. This is the movie we're making now. <laughs> gotcha. Cool. Well. I'm seeing a whole bunch of comments in here, and uh, Joe and Catalina, I don't know if they like you or if they don't like you. We're going to find out here. <laughs> a lot of people they don't like us. They probably don't like us. I don't like you. 
<laughs> what? Just Lily no. Lord is on OnlyFans. Take oh, it away, Lily. What? Yes, I am. What? Uh, what, what? <laughs> Tell me what you got. Let's see. Richard Nettleton says that he sucks at working a Rubik's Cube, and he can't imagine how he would screw up a lament box. <laughs> oh, we have one. Yeah. It was, um, this one's a Rubik's Cube type. But uh, Jorg... Our DP is the only person who's been able to solve it. It was sitting on our shelf unsolved for like two years. Oh, wow. So Yo, uh, no kidding? He, I'm he, serious. He did it in like <laughs> less than five minutes. We were actually sitting there planning Hellraiser. That dude is incredible. Like, yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, now he's posted something about a van and he's got all of his equipment in there and he can, I don't know, like, and then he's walking and doing these fluid shots, you know? You. Do you do you work alongside him, Ty, or or are you kind of uh, like under him, or I, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, he originally he called me up in January to work on a movie, and I've just kind of been on and off. Like anytime he has something and he needs a camera operator um, or a first AC, I'm usually there, uh, or one of the first or second people he calls. So yeah, he, he's a pleasure to work with. He's he's got it got it down. I love I love yeah. people who have a passion for what they do, and you can just tell. Right, you can just yeah. tell. And Joe, Joe's main co camera operator, man, he he does York. Well, that's why we keep working with him. He's great. Well, he's our director of photography. He's not just our camera operator. Let's okay, D director of photography. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, because we trust him. He makes the decisions on the lighting. So for like that hell, um, the Hellbound Lament uh, trailer that we just saw. You can see his the way he likes things is uh, very integral to how everything looks. Well, yeah, you know what? Our Maybe lighting, we... our lighting buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should show you real now because that that'd be a lot of uh, his work, Ty's work, every, you, your uh, direct. I mean, right? Inside that reel, uh, a little bit of everything. I made that reel at the beginning of the year uh, because I had nothing to work on at the time. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But uh, it's got a few older things in there too. Like I think I think there's a clip from Burnouts in it. But it's got some uh, it's got some stuff, um, music video stuff from The Empire Cats and Secret of Boris, uh, and Hellbound Laments are in there too. So it, it's watch it. it's a mix of stuff pre George and after George. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready if Jason is almost ready. Lily, so later we're going to talk about, what did you, you have a shark jaw. Mm -hmm. I have several shark jaws. Real shark jaws. Mm -hmm. They came into the shop yesterday. I oh. thought you were out catching sharks and then you like. No, I'm afraid not. Not this time. Okay. Maybe next weekend. Oh, man. Um, since we're waiting on him to pull that up, I think he mentioned. Oh, I'm ready now. Like oh, yeah. The voice you hear is from Jason Stark. That's right. He's ready. He's ready, Catalina. And here we go. So with that pullback, I thought it was going to be Clive Barker himself right there, but just a <laughs> dapper, wish. 
Dapper gentleman. Yeah, hey. that's been the, the green screen has all been fixed on that one uh, for the scribe configuration. And Jorg actually went back and did all the green screen. It looks pretty amazing because he had to like put them in hell. He's got like smart slime and everything. That Secret of Boris music video, I just I'll, I'll always, always love that. You know that, Joe and Catalina. The I just think it's, video? yes, I think it's fantastic. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I like that one a lot. For sure. Yeah, so that's just like a mix of uh, everything. And um, I mean, pretty much since uh, March, we've just been working on the Hellbound Lament. And we did the preview screening of the torture in May, but we do have the final audio for the torture. So we're probably going to do another preview screening uh, for the torture again with the new, with the improved audio before we start. It's got it all the missing elements, um, so we'll try to get that up. Yeah, and there was a clip of uh, Paul in the torture for that, and Corey, Corey's guts, the slutty guts, actually, the slutty guts, the slutty guts have been featured in a lot of movies. Um, <laughs> And uh, what else? Uh, Y'all did the last drive-in. We did the last drive-in. Yeah, so like they worked on uh, Joe Bob Briggs' last drive-in for last season. That was pretty awesome. Uh, I did a, a little like joke project called the Cursed Item PSA. Um, actually, Ty and Corey, Tori, um, Forrest, and Zoe. Zoe, and Jason are all in it, and they're just playing like a spazzy band. And uh, Tori's a demon who kills everybody. Um, it, and then it, the trailer, the trailer, it, it, it's a PSA. It's a dear, <laughs> dear friends PSA. It's a long story, but the trailer that she got out of it too. I made it, two projects out of the one. She took thing. the she took the trailer, and it's going to be at Texas Frightmare uh, next next uh, go round, mm -hmm. and it's called Demon Metal Murder Five. <laughs> <laughs> New yeah. blood. There's no one through four. I just wanted to be a jerk. Yeah. Because um, I want to be one of those, like, just for shit and duels. But uh, anyways, the PSA, though, uh, we did get, we did get, um, I did get into the, oh, shoot, where'd it go? Uh, the Horror Movie Awards, which, if there's any independent filmmakers, um, if you go onto Film Freeway, the Horror Movie Awards mm -hmm. is a free, um, it's a free, awards show that they're that they're having uh it's completely free i think that it ends in like november or something and uh he's gonna have a bunch of different judges from um from all over the world you know be um telling you their opinion on your on your uh, projects but it's really really cool they're very very supportive of independent film uh that's work obey films yeah they also do the 15 second film challenge which is way too difficult for me and then uh whoa Fifteen seconds. Yeah. Fifteen seconds. I yeah. can't fucking do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we uh, we got on Times Square. Oh yeah, yeah, that was the last thing I had on my list. Yeah. We were okay. on Times Square. Oh yeah, Square. I saw that. Square. Yeah. Square. Well, 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 hold on a second. So, um, LSF's um, uh, your logo was on the Times Square billboard. No, the torture poster. We got oh. new key art from Anthony mm -hmm. Galatis out of Greece, and um, it's really awesome. So, if y'all haven't seen it, you should totally check it out. We, we actually have it. I, I sent some uh, some stills to Jason. Yeah, we actually oh. have that. I'm pretty sure. The Torturer uh, movie poster. Uh, yeah, so we sent it in to uh, Shockfest mm -hmm. Film Festival, the poster itself, because they decided to do like a little mini festival inside of the, the big festival um, for posters. So the poster was actually featured on uh, New York Times Square. See, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's so awesome. Man. <laughs> So, but, on, uh, on the did Corey and Ty work with you on the torture? Uh, Corey was my assistant director, and he also played the man having a bad day. Where is my credited role? But I ha like in terms of the title of the role, like oh, this guy's John, this guy's Jason, man having a bad day. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> uh, but we we uh, didn't become partners with Ty until uh, January. And uh, we we worked on roughly on some projects and concepts here and there, uh, and uh, the main focus was to get the the torture and the Hellbound Laments uh, completed mm -hmm. before we really jumped into our next project. And we do have a list of because uh, we're, we're like we're, we're working towards doing more feature films now. Good. And we we do have a list of. Uh, titles that we want to produce uh, and right now the one that we are that's 
close that's at the front of the line is wages of sin yeah and uh, we're going to be launching an indiegogo campaign uh promoting that where ty will be the director yeah uh Corey has uh written this project and uh, catalina and i will be uh producing it um so ty do they give you complete control no <laughs> you didn't even let him yeah, answer. Okay. The there you go. That, that's it right there. That's that's. A There's a reason I work with them. There's a reason I work with them. That's it. All right. I love them, <laughs> and they get it done. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Uh, yeah, Corey might want to explain because it's actually Wages of Sin is an idea of ties, and then Corey wrote the script. So Corey oh. and Ty are the ones to best describe So everything. before we get to you, Corey, and I want you to answer this, uh, Joe, just think of which trailer we're showing next uh, because we want to pull up one of your Hellbound laments. One? We got one left? We're One left. All right, never mind. All right, Corey, we're ready. Uh, well, so yeah, like uh, right as, I mean, we were just barely into quarantine. And uh, so Ty hit me up and he basically just wanted to come up with something. He had an idea basically of two guys locked in a motel room and just tormenting each other. Um, and I believe that at that point, this, I think the idea was that one of them was a pizza guy. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea was that we were gonna put together something very small, very indie, very experimental, and pretty much shoot it right after quarantine ended with as small a cast and small a crew as possible, really kind of embracing like the old school kind of 90s uh, indie vibe. Uh, and then it just kind of progressed from there. Um, so yeah, I, I sat down and like with those restrictions in mind, just tried to make the best thing I could in that vacuum. And then once we started handing it off to Joe and Jorg and Catalina and everybody else, they're like, well, well no, this is a movie. Like this, this isn't, this isn't whatever you were originally going to do. This is a movie. Oh. So now we're making the movie and that's awesome. <laughs> so so we're referring Man. to wages of sin here right yes sir okay okay all right <clears throat> yeah uh, yes sir so yeah that's basically how it came about uh like you know we're very excited about it and we were always going to put our best effort into it but originally the idea was it was more going to be kind of an experimental project and then i, I apparently wrote us out of that uh so it's like well we're gonna have fun and make a movie it's like no we're making a real movie <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> the <laughs> you, you mind me telling them? It's, so it's like, <laughs> originally, like, this was, again, like, just a small thing. Like, me and Corey had an idea, and I was going to shoot, like, 8 millimeter, and then shoot just, like, random cameras, make it this campy thing. And then we get the script back from them, and it's like, dude, <laughs> this is a good movie. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, uh, that's how the pitch came about. It's like, all right, well, we're making a movie, so... But are Corey's uh, sexy bigger, guts going to be project. in this one? We could, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to give any spoilers. Honestly, it's uh, it's going to be exciting, though. All right, but look, uh, does does the phrase uh, "bloodthirsty vengeance" uh, fit? Sorry. Does the phrase "bloodthirsty vengeance" fit? Yeah, kind of. Oh, good. There we go. <laughs> uh, it's my kind so, of movie. Yeah. Like it's it's a it's a very character driven script, but there is a good bit of violence in it, and uh, there is a good bit of gore in the movie to a certain extent. But it's very much a slow burn character piece, so we eventually lead our way into that. So <laughs> I guess I guess I should just say while we're talking about it, the basic premise is like there's a strong it's the '90s, the late to mid '90s, and is a strung out lawyer named Sinclair Needenthal. Uh, who gets a motel room one night, and all he really wants is some peace and quiet and to do a big bag of drugs. <laughs> However, an altercation with Darby, my character, a pizza delivery man, <laughs> essentially makes him believe his only option is to take him captive. And mm -hmm. from that point on, the rest of the night kind of descends into this crazy drug-fueled battle of wills for survival. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and that's our movie. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell the pizza from here. <laughs> what else oh, have you got? Man. You, don't so you don't want that pizza. You don't want that pizza. So what? Uh, so what? It, uh, okay, you ordered like the uh, the cheap pizza and then reuse it day after day. You haven't shot it yet. <laughs> so, but... Okay. Look, dude. All I know. Oh, is I see. With the socks. So, so in the script, someone pisses on the pizza. I bet. 
No, he gets in a fight with the pizza. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm... There's a lot of pizza combativeness. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the pizza gets abused. Let's put it that way. He's the been taking drugs. And th so he has a fever dream after taking these drugs, and the pizza he thinks is attacking him. So there is some bloodthirsty revenge. Well, we'll just call it the uh, pizza bloodbath. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's not a bad idea for something else. Apparently, they need more fake trailers uh, for Texas Summer Weekend. So, I guess if, I mean, if anyone else is feeling like they want to do a fake trailer, yeah, I believe the time limit is a minute to two and a half minutes. So you better get yours in before Little Spark films <laughs> build up the lots again. We're not gonna perfect. We uh. We have about nine more minutes with you guys, and so it's time. We should show that video, right? That last one? Yeah, sure. This is uh, the Midian configuration uh, that stars Chris and Keith, and this is our first release of the Hellbound Laments micro series that we uh, started 13 weeks ago after quarantine started. Very and cool. Now we're, and we released the final one today. This is a big day, August 9th. Yeah. yeah. I'm probably going to be crying later. <laughs> Catalina, Catalina is sad that it's over. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't think that the day would come. <laughs> also, I thought we'd all be out of here. Yeah. Before we get to it, are there any other humorous comments? That... Miss Tori says that she provided all of her wardrobe for your projects. She did. Actually, she has quite a wardrobe too. She does. She's wonderful. She does. She always has an amazing wardrobe, and of course, uh, her makeup is fucking mm -hmm. fabulous all the time. All the time. Uh, but yeah, she was. She was uh, the demon in uh, my PSA demon and my Metal Murder yeah, Five. and the well in the trailers that. But she's also a Cenobite in Ooh. the Sherlock Holmes video, and I'm pretty sure it was the same pants. Probably. <laughs> And, and um, since we are actually, Corey, did we, we, we launch the Indiegogo today, just now? Uh, yes, it is up. Wait, okay, so our Indiegogo for Wages of Sin is officially up right now. And it stars Nathan Gershon and two magical sock puppets, Uncle Aldo and Captain Winky, I guess. <laughs> um, well, Tori does the voice. She designed the sock puppets, and she does the voice for Winky. Um, so, she is a fantastic actress, a voice actress, uh, and makeup artist. She's pretty amazing at everything she does, and I'm very fortunate. We are very fortunate to have her a part of our family. And uh, Tori. shout so, out Tori. Yeah, she. You know, I'm I'm very happy to have her around, and I hope she never dumps us. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, uh, all right. You want to keep going steady with Tori? We got it. <laughs> The um, <laughs> um okay so uh where were we all right so Tori Tori was commenting on uh, the wardrobe mm -hmm. we're gonna show the Halbon laments and um yeah all right very good so let let's cue it Jason we're ready yeah. When Midian fell, we didn't have a plan or know where to go. We gathered in the barn, awaiting Cabal, anticipating his leadership to bring us to a new Midian. Using the old magics, Cabal and Lori created this box to hold the breed until we're safe. I'm the new breed. A mix between Cabal's blood and Lori's.
I've been chosen to protect this with my life and help look for a new Midian where we can be safe again. The Midian Configuration Designed by Mike Montori Only at configurationboxes.com Yeah. 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 Do you love it? I love it. Fluid camera work. Mm -hmm. Must oh, be Yorg or Ty. Yeah. That's the Yorg. He's the steady cam master. You, yeah. I mean, you can kind of tell, can't you? I mean, uh, that, I don't know. It's, I like the flow that he does. That's, uh, yeah. he, the red is uh, hooked up to a round in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that sucker is not light. Oh my that. goodness, no. <laughs> Yorg is incredible, man. Setting that thing up's insane. <laughs> but if you, if you want to watch, uh, if you want to watch all the videos, all thirteen videos, including the final one that was released today, uh, there is a playlist on the Little Spark Films uh, YouTube channel. It's the first playlist on there, so you can see the whole series. Yeah, the whole series, gotcha. and then the series ends with uh, Nathan Nathan Gershon, and Nathan Gershon is going to be the star of Wages of Sin. Hey, and where so, where can we find that um, that GoFundMe? Or it's an, it's an Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Right? Um, and we'll, we yeah, it, it's live right now. It's got a bunch of cool perks like VHS tapes and cassette tapes, and uh, dead media. Yay. We it's 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 all we could afford. <laughs> but you know, if we get some money, we can probably afford nicer things like CD-ROM, <laughs> um, you know, laser disc, uh, laser disc, <laughs> uh, maybe uh, some Windows ninety five, uh, you know, installments. No, it, I want AOL. AOL. We will definitely so, have. Oh man! Soundtrack. Go ahead, I mean, Corey. What? Saying, I was Say, just making the joke. We're going to definitely have many disc versions of the soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. wow. Oh, hit clips. But is there, hit is clips. there, can we find the link to the Indiegogo on your website, uh, Joe and Catalina? It will be up. Yes. We'll also be sharing it from the Little Spark Films Facebook page. And there you can watch the video uh, titled Sockos of Sin. Yeah. And they also have an Instagram page um, for Wages of Sin. Oh, so good. We'll, 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 I'll compile all the information. Uh, yeah. The Instagram is Wages of Sin Production. Um, and then let's see, the uh, Twitter is Wages of Sin 1, I believe. Zero one. Either all right. Way, you can find it on Facebook. The IMDb will be up soon. Uh, you can, you know, we're, we, we made sure to get everything, you know, up and running to launch today. So yeah. if you donate at least a dollar to the Indiegogo, you will uh, gain access to a private group and you can keep up with everything that has to do with the film. And we'll all, we'll all be in the group. So if something awesome, if, you know. If you, this is at latest news. Latest there news, there you go. Yeah. And so, also just general, general buffoonery, even though buffoonery is not allowed on set. <laughs> right. Uh, all right, so it's no problem at all if people give a dollar. No, I would love a dollar, I please. That dollar. So a uh, call, dollars. call to it's all independent better. and horror independent filmmakers and film lovers and horror film lovers. Break off with a dollar. That's all. Just a dollar. Just a dollar helps. <clears throat> you don't even notice a dollar missing. And wages of sin is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I say wages of sin is definitely a horror movie. Yeah, oh. a lot of pizza fighting. <laughs> hey, Ty, you're on Instagram? Yes, I am. Ty underscore Adams. Two Ds. All right. And, and, uh, and of course, Nerdscum? Nerd. Under Nerdscum. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, I believe on Instagram, it's Nerd or Let me double check that word. It's Nerd. It's, no, it's Nerd underscore Scum. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's what it is. And of course, a little spark films. We have to say adios to you guys. Thank you very much for all Thank being so with us. us. Hey, um, it should be said that Little Spark Films also does fantastic graphic art. Mm -hmm. 
and makes flyers and all. So reach out to Little Spark Films through Instagram or their website. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 What should we do first? All the pictures from my backyard or uh, talk about lurid wares? Mm, let's do the pictures first. Yeah? yeah? All right. All right. So I've got a little roll. This is called Spot the Liquid Death. Mm, Spot okay. the Liquid Death, the liquid uh, death. series. This is um, a game we play here on Quartz Paint Show. My headphones broke, and so I'm trying oh, to kind no. of keep my head together here. <laughs> <clears throat> I took some, uh, uh, so little, uh, Liquid Death just wanders through my house and sometimes winds up in various places. So I, I, tried, to, I tried to get them uh, live in their environment. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll start with, all right. Oh, yeah, okay. So, the, yeah, so Laura just walks out of this casket. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, uh, yesterday. Oh. And look what she has in her hand. Liquid death. <laughs> and, and we put the dead body on the outside of the coffin. Is That's appropriate, right? <laughs> and the live person inside. I mean, you were about to ship it off to Lourdes Wares, weren't you? So, I mean. uh, okay, and then, and then uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I have extras. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. There is a liquid death in this picture. Can you spot it? I cannot. I'm looking for something I, uh, else. <laughs> So there is a liquid death in this picture. Wait, I see it now. Oh, it I is. see it. Okay, see yeah. It Draw your eyes up a little. Oh, a little okay. Bit. okay. To the left, just a smidge. I see it now. <laughs> do you see it in this one? I think I do. I think it's I do. Is that hair. Tori? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, that's is that Tori? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I'm just Tori, kidding. if you're I'm still kidding, watching, Tori, uh, he kidding. meant that as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> The makeup would be way better if it was That's true. That's a point. Okay, now this is um, this is something you'd be interested in. Uh, this is a, 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 a body that burned, and I was able to acquire the skeleton. Oh. There is a liquid death in this picture. Oh. Oh, I think I spot it. Do you? I do, I do. Mm. I think she swallowed it, and then it caused her death. It was too late. <laughs> it was too late. <laughs> yeah, she was trying to murder her thirst, and... No Didn't one is abusing corpses at my house. Okay, I am just pointing out that she may have swallowed it, and then and then I was able to snap this. More importantly, nobody can prove. <laughs> Any, okay. <laughs> oh, liquid death calling. Now in this one, I can see the liquid death. I can see that one. Mm -hmm. I accept yeah. those long distance charges <laughs> every time. As do I, Jason. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my okay. favorite one. <laughs> Yeah, so um, she had an eyeball missing, and this went in. Oh. It was better to put this in the eye socket than just have an empty, you know, gash. I agree. Face, you know I, I, mean? I agree. I thought it was in the blowhole. Isn't that no, in the it, blowhole? Oh, the blowhole? Yeah. It's uh, an easy way to, for dolphins to, you know, hold on to it while they're, they're swimming. No? Okay. <laughs> no, no. You know what? I think, you have, I think you're right. I think he's right, yeah. The it's only thing hole. is the silly dolphin has it upside down. Or the wrong Where, way. Where's the blowhole? Is it on top? I think it's up there somewhere. I don't <laughs> it must be, right? All right. So, yeah. So, yeah. It carries it around. Now, this I found floating in the pool. Oh, my. Yeah. Can you spot the liquid down? I can. All right. Good. <laughs> that is, that is, yeah. That is, that is in the pool. I just ran across it. It's like, oh it's goodness. a new inflatable thing. It's actually very big. Oh. New inflatable liquid down. Can you spot it in that one? I can, yes. You like that skull? You That's could market this and probably sell it for a lot more than I could make for it. Possibly. Put it on lured wares and then suddenly <laughs> it's worth a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> this chair. Hey, what's up with lured wares? All right, so you made a post recently of some mm -hmm. shark jaws. Mm -hmm. I've got quite a lot of new things coming into the shop. This is amazing. You, you're astounding. You have like this magnetic draw of cool stuff that just floods to you. I try. I don't know how you do it. Don't tell us because oh, the I mystery know. the mystery is better. <laughs> but it is amazing how you acquire these things. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so Shark Jaws and... Let's see. I believe on the 14th, which is Friday, our Anthropocene premiere, I'm going to have some new items in the shop, which is going to include some specimens of woolly mammoth hair from Russia. 
Look at that. Yes. And I do have some human remains available, as always. Wait, wait, wait. wait stop right there. So, are the, what, what kind of, are these bear claws or what, what are they? Mm, that is a human hand. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Is it for the pair? It is one hand. For one. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that's one. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Like a bottom and top. Mm -hmm. And uh, so 375 includes shipping and in the in the U.S. Yes, that is correct. No kidding. No kidding. Do you have all your hands? I do. I don't want you to sacrifice anything. <laughs> and then you've got, um, you know what movie I just watched recently? The Omen. Oh, yes. And they open they open the casket where the infant was killed. It has a big hole in the skull. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, like, um, I don't know, uh, World War II skulls where they had a bullet hole in it? I do not, okay. no. I'm kidding. You have some good <laughs> skulls here. Thank you. Um, back from a 30-day ban, that was sold. And mm -hmm. what, what is that one right there? That is a skull cap. Can you eat cereal out of it? Mm-hmm. That's the majority of what I sell them for, actually. And do people, people will, do that? Mm -hmm, people will drink out of them. Ceremonies. Yes. I see where this is going. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you've got your bag of... Mm -hmm. Cremains. Okay. All due respect. Very good. <laughs> uh, is this in your car or that's on a table? It's on a table. Okay. All right. All right. So um, the, the, the main thing she posted about... I'm sorry I'm getting all caught here. The... <clears throat> You had the shark jaws mm -hmm. and the human hand. Yes. What, were those the two big new acquisitions? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, I also picked up a beaver skull yesterday. That's what you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And then the woolly mammoth hair. Mm -hmm. Also some ancient Egyptian beads. So those are new as well. Love it. There are a lot of collectors right now. Mm -hmm. And maybe a lot of these things you might sell, I don't know, I'm just guessing, to the same group of people because they want more of the acquisitions, right? Mm -hmm. exactly. And then you're probably also gathering or creating new customers who mm -hmm. don't have anything but want to start. Mm -hmm. Exactly. A good majority of my customers are just friends of mine that have specific interests. And whenever I find something I know they would like, mm -hmm. I message them mm -hmm. and they purchase it before I'm able to list it. No kidding. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. And so maybe they've got, oh, there's the um, oh, yes. cereal bowl. Mm -hmm. so, so maybe <clears throat> they've got an altar mm -hmm. of some kind at their house and they want to have human hands or bones or something to add to it, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Very cool. Love it. Lurid wares. And when you, when you go to Oklahoma to the Osteology Museum, mm -hmm. do you bring home something usually that you try and market or...? No, I don't bring them home. However, I do take um, several specimens there and let them take a look. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Do they buy? I or, am or? not sure. I believe that most of their goods are donated to them. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yes. Hmm. Uh, any other cool comments? Because we got to wrap up. Let's see. It's almost time. Richard Nettleton says that those shark jaws are just in time for Shark Week. Which starts today, if I'm wait, not wait, mistaken. Wait, wait, wait. It does? Mm -hmm. I believe Shark so. Week? Would someone please confirm in the comments that Shark Week starts today? Blood in the water. Mm -hmm. It starts today. That's fantastic. Perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Perfect timing. You arranged that, didn't you? I did not. No, you did. No. No, I mean, Maybe did. I did. Yes, it did. officially started today, uh -huh. August 9th. Speaking yes. fantastic. Mm -hmm. You can catch Lily and myself in a bit role in the movie Anthropocene by Emir Scalonia, mm -hmm. and that is on the 14th, which is this coming Friday. Mm -hmm. So I think they go uh, start with um, his, either his name or the movie name on Facebook and um, and find out how to watch it on uh, Vimeo, right? Mm -hmm. Vimeo. <coughs> I believe it starts at 8.15 on Friday the 14th. Yeah, and you're welcome to come over if you want to watch it mm -hmm. together. Um, you know, on Friday. I don't know. Just I, don't, I don't know. Keep it in mind. Yeah. Maybe we could do that or have a party or something yeah. for um, that. So that would be cool. Party, yeah. We did a, a cool news segment. We did. I enjoyed that quite what a lot. What else? Um, Let's see. And Raven Jason says that it does start today. Yes. Yay, Shark Week. Um, anything else? Find cool stuff on your website mm -hmm. and your Please Facebook do, page yes. and your Instagram. Mm -hmm. And remember, Lily Lord is hot and she is on only fucking fans. I am.
and and right and of course liquid death and we say to people <laughs> wear a mask and register to vote right we'll be back here next sunday We want you to elevate your life by going underground. By that we mean supporting independent art, independent music, independent print, independent movies.